Hey guys, what's up? In this video, Colin's gonna be showing you how to set up your store domain. We're literally taking you guys by the hand and showing you guys everything when it comes to setting up your store to making your first sale. So I hope you guys like this series. Please give a like below if you like it. Comment what you think about this series so far. And I really hope you guys are appreciating this free course that we're giving away. Peace. Hey guys, in this video, I wanna share with you how to connect your uh, domain to your store. So you're gonna have this domain, this myshopify.com. It's really ugly. You really want just a clear domain. Like I, I made one just now, torarplanet.com. So you're gonna, you're gonna have this. You're gonna, uh, this is what it's gonna look like, all right? And so we want this right here, this Torar Planet. So you can use GoDaddy, you can use Bluehost, you can use Namecheap. I personally use Bluehost, so that's my go-to. I already have an account, so. Um, we're gonna go to domains, right? So you create an account first, go to bluehost.com, create an account, it's uh, super cheap. Um, we're gonna find a domain, so let's just find one right here. Um, I already found one, so let's try tour the planet, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a new domain, I'm not gonna buy it, but okay, tourtheplanet.com is already taken. So let's come up with something creative. All right, so, um, you know, I'm kind of having trouble finding a .com, so we're, we're just going to kind of skip over this. But you do want a .com um, domain, and basically what you're going to do is when you find one, you're going to shop it. You're going to go next. And you're going to go auto renew, and then don't sign up for the domain policy. Um, you're going to agree and then you're going to uh, add to cart and then from there what you're basically going to do is you're going to purchase it so let's say after you bought it let's let's skip over to that so look after you bought it you're going to go to your domains and then you're going to go to the uh, zone editor select your domain right so mine was tour the our planet I already set it up for you, so you're gonna have to connect your A record, your A host, and your C name. So, um, you know, let's say you connect your existing domain, right? And let's go tour our planet. We've already connected this already, but let's just, uh, Bluehost is gonna give you some instructions, all right? So, They're gonna want you to connect like an A host and then a C name, all right? So perfect. They tell you, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this. Oh, uh, right here, copy. And then you're going to go on at symbol and then you're gonna add the record. I already did it, so boom, all right? And that should be good. And then next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the C name record. So the C name is a www, and then it points to your site, and that should be it. All right, so very simple. So www, it should point to this right here. So we're gonna copy this, but without the HTTPS, right? So we're gonna copy this, boom, boom. And then we're gonna add the record. and. After you have that set up, so it should look like this, the A host and then the C name record. So that's all you need to edit. We're going to go in there and we're going to verify the connection. When the connection is right, sometimes you might have to wait a couple minutes. You verify the connection because uh, I already did it. So, you know, I don't need to do that. You should then get this. All right. And so if you have trouble connecting it, you know, definitely call Bluehost. Uh, if it's very simple questions, I'd be able to answer it as well. So that's how you connect the domain.